Hello, my friends. Welcome back. It is time for the Morning Mindset. I hope you're ready to get your mind aligned with the truth of God for today. If you are new to the Morning Mindset, my name is Carrie Green. Welcome. I'm glad that you're with us for this mind alignment, this mindset reset to get ourselves on track with the Lord's will for the day. I want to welcome you if you're listening to a number of places around the globe. I noticed today there are people listening in Indonesia. There are people listening in Australia, people listening in New Zealand, people in Laos, in Thailand, in India, all over the realm. There are people listening to the morning mindset. I'm grateful that you're here. Today, we are going to be looking at Proverbs chapter 28, verses 3 and 16. And the theme that Solomon points out for us in his writing today is the theme of oppression. And I think that all of us have been in a position at one time or another in our lives when we have experienced oppression. That means the person in authority, or, or even a person who isn't in authority but takes authority upon themselves, puts us in a position where we are forced to do certain things against our will. Now today, Solomon brings up at least one circumstance. That's a very surprising circumstance of oppression. And he shows the danger of that. And then he also is going to show a more typical type of oppression and the effect that it has. Let's start with verse number three in Proverbs chapter 28. And it says, a poor man who oppresses the poor is a beating rain that leaves no food. So do you get the image here? This is a poor person who is oppressing others who are poor. So it's one person in a bad situation trying to take advantage of the others in a bad situation, the same bad situation. And it says, it's like a beating rain that leaves no food. Now that's a very vivid image, a hard rain that's coming down and destroying the crops, almost like a hailstorm is the picture that I have in my mind. He's saying that sort of destruction comes from one who is poor, mistreating or oppressing others who are poor. I think the implication is that he doesn't have the resources to lead well. He doesn't have the opportunity to have the education to lead well. He doesn't really have what it takes to care for those people under his charge. And so instead, he's oppressing them. He's trying to control the situation. And it really is a destructive thing. Let's look at verse 16. It says, a ruler who lacks understanding is a cruel oppressor. But he who hates unjust gain will prolong his days. Now, this one, I think, is one we all could kind of nod our heads at. A ruler who lacks understanding. So a ruler who's foolish. A ruler who believes their policies and approaches are good, but really are doing foolish things, things that are not good. They're, they're contrary to God's law. And perhaps the ruler doesn't even know it. The ruler believes they're doing right, but they are not. He says they are a cruel oppressor. So the things they put in place that are contrary to God's ways are actually bringing harm to the people that they're supposed to be blessing. We see this happen a lot when you have people in power who are what you might call the cultural elite. They think they know better. They think they have what it takes to lead well and to do what's best for the people they're leading, but they actually don't. Their policies are foolish and their, their ways of going about things are foolish. It says that kind of a person is a cruel oppressor. They become unfeeling. They do not really care about the people under their charge. But the contrast Solomon gives us, he who hates unjust gain will prolong his days. Now, what is, he, what is he talking about there? Well, he's talking about what often happens in a political realm where people get paid to enact laws or do things that will benefit the person doing the paying. And so he's talking about bribes. He's talking about under the table deals. And so as the theme comes back around, we see that a person who is oppressing others is a person who lacks understanding, a person who is unwise. And friends, I think we have plenty of opportunity as God's people to be praying against this kind of leadership, to be asking the Lord to remove those from power who are unjust and oppressive, and to bring about righteousness. Because it says the one who hates unjust gain will prolong his days. The one who is wise and living according to God's standards is the ones we want ruling. So 
Lord Jesus, we ask you to bring about righteous leadership in our nations across this globe. We ask you to remove those from power who are bringing about harm, who are bringing about evil, who are bringing about injustice. Lord, we ask you to grow your kingdom and your influence in this world through your people, through our wise lives, and through our care for each other day to day, even in the small things of life. Lord, we ask you to do so. In the name of Jesus, amen. Amen.